One of the most popular shapes is coffin. Greg is gonna show you how to do it with the precision applicator gels right now. We've had a lot of requests on how to achieve a coffin nail with hard gel. I'm gonna show you in this next video how you're going to be able to execute that shape with ease. Okay, so what we wanna be able to do is we wanna be able to set the nail up so that we establish a great foundation and that is based on preparation. I'm going to push my client's cuticles back. And what we wanna be able to do is we wanna be able to remove shine from the surface of the nail. So what I wanna be able to do is gently work around the perimeter of the nail and lightly feather away the shine from corner to corner. Right? I'm working at such a gentle speed and I'm allowing the machine to do all the work for me. So I don't actually need to put a lot of pressure. All I'm doing is floating the bit over the nail and I'm working from corner to corner so that I thoroughly remove shine from the surface of the nail. Once we're done doing that, I'm going to take swipe. I'm going to use a manicure brush. I'm going to dust away all the oils, contaminants, and loose particles from the surface. Once that is dry, what we're going to do is we're going to apply two coats of protein bond. You're going to apply it on all 10 fingers, and then as soon as you're done applying it to all 10 fingers, you're going to apply one more coat. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to establish a solid foundation. I'm going to use the Young Nails base gel. What we want to be able to do is pull through the surface so that we can get a nice bead on one side of my brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to the back. You notice actually when I actually push down onto the nail, it actually pillows around the outside of the brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stay within the gel. I'm going to start sliding it out, pillowing it down as close to the sides as I possibly can. What this is going to ensure is not only that I have a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge, but it keeps a nice pillow around the perimeter of the nail. So once I'm done doing all five fingers, I'm going to get it inside the light as long as it takes you to do the other hand. It has to be inside the light for at least a minimum of 30 seconds. Once the base gel has been set, we're now ready to sculpt the nail. I'm going to take my nail form. Now in order for us to get the coffin shape, we want to be able to taper that free edge. I'm going to pinch my nail form all the way down to the very, very tip. I could leave just a little bit of an opening at the very, very end. What I want to be able to do is open it up and then when I place it underneath, my focus is to try to get it as flush to the tip as I possibly can. So I'm going to be using my hand just to rock the form back. And you can see how we're going to be able to get the side walls really, really straight. All right, so once we actually have the form on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the concealer pink and the precision applicators to structure the coffin shape on the front end. I'm going to squeeze out enough gel from corner to corner. All right, so once we actually have it out onto the nail and attached, I'm gonna continue to squeeze the product onto the very, very front. And what this is going to do is it's going to build the length to my desire. Notice that I'm floating on the surface, floating onto the surface. Okay. So once we actually have this built out, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my brush and I'm just going to make sure that we have it attached to the edges. I'm just going to shape the front end to try to keep it in the right shape. So since the form is already tapered, what I'm trying to achieve is basically having the shape basically taper as close to the tip as I possibly can. Once we actually build that shape, you have to keep it inside the light for at least a minimum of 30 seconds. Okay, now we're ready to build the body. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a nice healthy amount at the cuticle area. I'm going to work it from side to side. Then as soon as I get it around the cuticle area, I'm going to continue applying a little bit of pressure and I'm going to work it down all the way through my upper arch. Continue to squeeze it out all the way down past the tip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it all the way to the end of the free edge. Again, using the nozzle to float it onto the surface. You can see I have a real beautiful, nice application from cuticle to free edge. Once I am done doing this, on my light, I am going to push the low heat mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the client enter the light. And the nice thing about this is in the low heat mode, the gel is going to cure slowly and the client is not going to feel a really intense heat spike. Now, last but not least, what we want to be able to do is we have to be able to add gel in order to create the right upper arch. You'll notice that the back end of the gel is already tapered and well built. What we want to be able to do is add gel from this point to this point in order to fill the space to keep the right structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a little bit more out and I'm going to start right here and I'm going to work the gel down towards the tip, just filling in the right space. So once I actually have it filled in, what I'm going to do is use the tip of my brush just to lightly guide it over the front end and then I could use the back end of my brush just to kind of taper it into place. So everything is going to self-level into perfection. I'm going to set it inside my light for a final cure at full power mode, 60 full seconds. All right, so as soon as the nail cures, we're going to wipe it with swipe. Then I'm going to pinch down below, remove the form, and we're going to file the perimeter into shape before we actually take down the excess from the body. Okay, I'm going to use my hand file, and the thing is, is when we're actually trying to shape the coffin nail, I want to try to taper the free edge as much as we can. You can see from the top profile how I'm actually able to taper the nail in, keeping it connected to the whole entire side. I'm going to square off the very front. Now, in order to get my lower arches perfect, I'm going to turn it to the side. What I want to be able to do is line it from the lowest point in order to get my lower arches completely straight. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to line it up from the lowest point and file up until I reach my corners. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take down the bulk from the surface with our electric file. All right, so I went ahead and put down the young nails vent. What we're going to do is we're going to use our barrel to file our upper arch in. Keep in great shape all the way through. Zone one to zone three. And then what I want to be able to do when I'm filing through the free edge, I'm working in one direction all the way through from zone three, zone two, zone one. I'm gonna work around the cuticle area in one direction to take down as much bulk as I possibly can. And then I wanna be able to finish out through the whole entire nail. Once I have removed all of the bulk, I'm going to use my hand file to refine it into perfection. I want to make sure that I work around the cuticle area and down the sides to taper it down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to make sure that everything works all the way down. Right. Blending the cuticle area and my sides, filing everything into perfection. Last but not least, I want to be able to look at my client profile. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the top just to make sure that the very, very tip is completely square. I'm going to make sure my sides are perfectly even. And then what I like to do is just hold my file 
in this position and work it down the tip through the center to make sure that everything is going to be even from side to side. All right. Once we are done doing that, I'm just going to kind of buff around the edges to make sure that I don't have any sharp edges and then clean the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and protein bond around the edges. And whatever residue I have, I'm gonna come through the whole entire body. And then this is going to set it up so that when I apply, my top gels are not going to chip away from the surface at all. You're going to be able to see what this nail looks like as soon as it comes out of the light. We've got endless amounts of videos, so do not stop now. Click, watch, click, watch, keep that going, and don't forget to give us one of these.